Well, maybe in the new year, you're looking for some things to do with your family. Well, we have got a great idea coming right at you. In fact, one of the things that I love most about living in Tampa Bay is that we do actually get the hope of checking out shuttle launches once in a while. But you know where you can experience that every day and take the family and have some fun? Mosey. Let's go ahead. Welcome in Rob back to our show today. Rob, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Good to see you, Natalie. It's good to see you. We're so excited to talk with you. One of Carly and I's favorites in the Bay Area is Mosey. Oh. But before we dive in and talk a little space, I yep. first want to talk about though the venue. In case people haven't been there yet, one, I know you've done a lot of work over the holiday break, but two, it's so spacious that you guys really have been able to set a standard when it comes to feeling safe taking your family somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we we were actually the first science center in the United States to open. Um, and we are, our, our operating plan was reviewed by the Hillsborough, Hillsborough County, the Florida Department of Health and, um, every, everything that we could make better, we did for the pandemic and for the confidence of guests coming in, um, ranging from, you know, upgraded air filters to changing all of our plumbing fixtures to touch free. Um, we have a foot sanitizer as you enter the exhibit path and all of our doors are open. Our entry doors are open. Our doors to the science park are open and all of that eliminates the, you know, the, the touch points mm -hmm. that I think are, are of concern. So, um, we've had great responses, uh, when the people come in and they leave, they, they have a very confident feeling in it. So, um, we're very pleased with how things have been going here, especially as a, uh, an interactive and innovative uh, venue here in Tampa. Well, Mosey's so large too that you know you yeah. do feel like you get that space. It's something that I, I want to make note of. And yep. uh, speaking of space, hence the segue into this <laughs> space for art exhibit that right. I was talking about. There's such a like refreshing feeling right now with SpaceX and the launches happening that you're really captivating that and to helping people learn more. Yeah, the, the Space for Art exhibit, we were incredibly lucky when we made contact with local astronaut Nicole Stott mm -hmm. a year and a half ago. And um, she brought to us this idea about a foundation that she worked for called for the Space for Art Foundation. And it is, uh, it, it's the most dynamic exhibit that we've had at Mosey so far. And, you know, the, the three words to describe it are space, art, and healing. And I couldn't think of three better words for the times that we're in right now. It is a great showcase of all of these astronauts, scientists, uh, computer programmers, engineers, whose hobbies are all related to art um, and showing how art has been very influential in designing, you know, space gloves or space suits. And we even have the actual uh, space suit that is pictured from the International Space Station here on display and it was decorated by children all over the world who have some form of pediatric cancer. So mm -hmm. there's a cause and a, and a purpose behind mm -hmm. it as well, other than being just a visually very cool exhibit. Um, it's got a great purpose behind it too, which is engaging the children of the world in the wonder of space and healing. So we love it, I love it. And now this exhibit of course is going on now, correct? Or it, it this weekend? It, it'll get it'll go through this weekend. Okay. In fact, it'll actually go till next week, Wednesday. Okay. Um, that's just in regards to some internal timing that we have. Um, so I would, you know, cl clearly a, a, a shameless plug coming up, but I would really want to see it, even if I didn't work for Mosey, just because of the art that is in it and because of the meaning of it. So yes, this is the last weekend coming up to see it. Well, Rob, we only have a minute left. We have two events to talk about. First, we're uh, switching from the nonfiction to fiction and talking yep. a little uh, Star Wars. May the Force be with you, but then also the big game. So yep. I'll let you go ahead and kind of wrap up both of those. So we're making sure to get the information to the people out there. You got it. Speed round. Uh, <laughs> so on January 23rd, we are doing a Star Wars family fun night. Uh, this is going to be a great event. I'm really excited where the public can come in. It's from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, and not only does it end at 8 p.m., but it goes then into our free uh, Skywatch event for astronomy. So you're going to be able to build a droid and navigate it through a maze, uh, build a lightsaber, learn about interstellar travel. Um, and there will even be uh, characters here. So it's going to be a really engaging event. Really looking forward to it. First time that we'll be doing an event like this. We hope it becomes something that we can repeat. Um, so again, but you do need tickets and they are available on the Mosey website. Uh, but it's again, January 23rd from six to eight and it rolls right into our Skywatch event. 
And then for the big game coming up, we are having on February 5th and 6th an esports sort of conference here at Mosey where uh, we're partnering with Beyond Meta and a gentleman, a local esports expert here by the name of Derek Watford. And we are doing a Madden tournament related with the big game, um, a pitch opportunity for local gamers who have ideas for games oh, nice. to pitch to an expert panel, um, and just a lot of esports and coding activities going on here for the big weekend, all in partnership um, with NFL alumni and uh, some great local esports individuals. You know what's something for everybody, Rob, we love catching up with you. Of course, you sure. can get more information. Just check out Mosey's website at the bottom of our screen there. Rob, again, yep. thank you for being with us and Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. Great to see you.